Let me ask, how do you measure up in Helldivers 2? It's a question of strategy, skill, and the right tools at the right times. And today, I've lined up the top 5 offensive stratagems that define the best from the rest. But stick around, because I challenge you to predict the one stratagem I believe is the underdog that could revolutionize anyone's game plan in Helldivers 2. It's important for me to preface that this is an opinionated list. There has been a lot of detail and thought gone into it. However, some of these stratagems are best suited for different playstyles. This video also will exclude the use of support weapon stratagems, as we just got two new ones in the game the other day, so I plan on coming out with a separate video in the future on those. With that being said, I do have an honorable mention, and that's going to be the Guard Dog Laser Rover Backpack. Beyond being a companion on the battlefield, the Laser Rover Backpack embodies the concept of a guardian angel, albeit with a touch of unpredictability. This mobile sentry isn't just about adding firepower, it's about enhancing your spatial awareness as it scans for threats, engaging with rapid fire response to smaller enemies that often swarm in unnoticed. However, in its eagerness to engage, it can sometimes backfire, causing friendly fire incidents or disrupting stealth strategies by alerting enemies that you're nearby. Despite these quirks, its recharge time and the constant cover it provides against lesser foes makes it an invaluable asset, especially when navigating through the game's more densely populated enemy territories. Starting off this list, we have the EMS Mortar Sentry coming in at number 5. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's a sentry. I get it. But before you start going to the comment sections, let me explain how valuable this stratagem is. The EMS Mortar Sentry, often underestimated, is a game changer for those who recognize its strategic value. This stationary guardian excels in crowd control, emitting electromagnetic pulses that slow down incoming threats. This temporarily immobilization of enemies is not just about defense, it's a strategic tool that transforms the battlefield, providing players and their squad leeway to regroup, strategize, and execute countermeasures effectively. While its immobility and vulnerability to direct attacks mark its weaknesses, strategic placement and the potential enhancements through ship modules can improve upon these weaknesses. This stratagem is ideal for prolonged engagements at critical objectives or as a defender during extraction. It's also very good at evacuation missions and eradicate missions, and its ability to pair seamlessly with other defense stratagems like other sentries amplify its utility, making it a cornerstone in the art of tactical defense. For those of you watching who haven't tried this stratagem, try it and come back to the comment sections and let me know what you think. Moving on to number 4 we have the Orbital Laser. The Orbital Laser was my first love in this game and it is the epitome of high risk, high reward stratagems. With its capacity to unleash a devastating energy beam capable of eradicating all forms of enemy resistance, including those formidable bug nests and those fortified outposts. It's a symbol of raw power. However, what prevents it from being higher on the list is its limited usage. You are only able to use this stratagem a maximum of three times, which makes players compelled to use it judiciously often saving it for the most dire circumstances. Being capable against taking out any foe in the game is notable, although it requires finesse and tactical support to maximize its destructive potential. Assisting the laser by focusing fire on its targets can specifically reduce the amount of time it takes to eliminate those high enemy threats. Showcasing its role as not just a weapon of mass destruction, but as a catalyst of strategic gameplay. Now. Moving on to number 3 in the list, we have the Eagle Cluster Bomb. While putting the Eagle Cluster Bomb above the Orbital Laser may be debatable, I have my reasons. The Cluster Bomb excels in its versatility and tactical utility, and it claims its place for its area denial capabilities. The Cluster Bomb's true strength lies in its sprawling range, capable of blanketing enemies of the battlefield in lethal explosions. However, its effectiveness against larger foes is moderated. Its real purpose is in controlling the flow of battle, clearing the masses of enemies with precision, and preparing objective areas for entry. For me personally, it's above the orbital laser because it does what it's meant to do at a more consistent rate and it's also just available all the time. Coming in at number 2, we have the orbital rail cannon for the silver medal. This stratagem is my current love in Helldivers 2. And honestly, when I don't bring it with me into battle, I almost feel naked. 
This stratagem is a testament to the marriage of precision and power. The orbital rail cannon is a beacon of reliability in the chaos of combat, and its hallmark is its ability to dispatch any target with a single well-placed shot. Just throw the sucker anywhere near the enemy you want to dispatch of and it will do that. Its unparalleled tracking coupled with its moderate cooldown positions the rail cannon as an essential tool for those who want to dispatch of the larger enemy types in the game. The only drawback is the cooldown period, which is a minor inconvenience in the grand scheme of things, as its contributions to the battlefield far outweigh its limitation. It's also best wielded in unison with other allies, making it a cherished asset in the player's arsenal. Before I get into number one, I want to preface that I believe these stratagems are the top stratagems in the game. However, I think you could reorder them depending on your playstyle. Now crowning the list at number one, we have the Eagle Airstrike. For me, the Eagle Airstrike stands as the pinnacle of offensive stratagems. Its reputation for versatility and effectiveness is well earned, offering an unmatched ability to adapt to and dominate any combat scenario. With unlimited uses, the Eagle Airstrike is almost always at the ready, serving as a critical tool for both ad control and targeting strikes against high level enemy types. Mastery over its deployment timing and positioning is key as its potential for impact is boundless, ranging from clearing waves of approaching enemies to decimating high value targets. The Eagle Airstrike embodies the spirit of Helldivers 2 itself, dynamic, challenging, and deeply rewarding for those who hone their skills to perfection. The versatility itself is what puts the Eagle Airstrike above all for me. As I begin to conclude the video, it's clear to me and hopefully y'all that each stratagem brings a different, unique set of capabilities to the battlefield that are shaped by the strategic insights and preferences of the player. Whether you favor the calculated precision of the orbital rail cannon or the versatile might of the Eagle Airstrike or even the ad clear capability of the Eagle Cluster Bomb, your choice of stratagem is a reflection of your approach to the game and not every list will be the same. I'm eager to hear your thoughts and experiences. Do you agree with the rankings or is there a strategy you would champion instead? Dive into the comment sections below to share your strategies, preferences, and stories from the front lines. Your insights enrich the new community we are building together. If you want to be part of that community, be sure to like and subscribe for more Helldivers 2 content and leave some suggestions for future videos in the comment section below. Also, remember, success in Helldivers 2 isn't just about the loadout you choose. It's about how you use it. Stay strategic, keep fighting for Super Earth. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace, I'm out.